Hello guys, good morning. Today is going to be a day of sorting out the wardrobes. Yes, I know, I do this quite often. I am the worst for making things messy again and where I am a blogger, YouTuber, influencer, a lot of things come in and out of my office and it gets very messy very quickly. There ends up being stuff everywhere from like various deliveries that come in and all sorts. So what I'm gonna do is be really ruthless today and I'm gonna give it the clean of its life. So by that, I mean literally nothing is staying if it doesn't fit. I'm gonna be trying on all my shoes. I'm gonna be trying on all my clothes. Well, not all of my clothes, some of my clothes. Like the stuff that I wear all the time, <laughs> not gonna bother trying on because I wear it, but the stuff that's in my wardrobe that I haven't worn in a year or I haven't worn in six months, I'm just gonna try it on and just see what fits and see what doesn't fit. And I'm gonna be ruthless in stuff that I'm getting rid of. Anything that doesn't fit, anything I haven't worn in a really long time, anything that I love but I just don't wear because I don't like it on me, it's all going. It might potentially go on Depop if my Depop account is on, I don't know the word for it. Basically it got hacked at the beginning of the year and Depop are trying to get it back and it's been a bit of a nightmare. So if I can get back into Depop, I will. If not, I'll leave a link to my eBay account down below and then you guys can see what I'm getting rid of. But I've got a feeling it's probably gonna be quite a lot of stuff because I have a lot of things and if you spoke to my boyfriend, he would tell you I am basically a secret hoarder and I tend to just like accumulate stuff and there's no real reason for the stuff and it just appears and it's there and I'm in one of those moods where I'm like, if it's not used and it's got no purpose, it is not staying. So <clears throat> I'm gonna be really like, th there's just, it's everywhere. Like it's literally everywhere. There's bags that I haven't worn in two, three years. There's jeans that I haven't fit into for like six months. And obviously one of the major problems here is that we are nine weeks into lockdown. So my waist and my entire body is considerably a few pounds heavier than it was at the beginning of lockdown. I'm also third day into dairy bloat, which if you have IBS as well, you will know is very painful and very big. So there's kind of a few situations that mean clothes might not fit in the right way. So what I'm gonna do is be like, be kind to myself and know that chances are, if I try it on today and it's a little bit tight, it will be fine. If it's like, I can't even get it up over my legs, that's when I need to get rid of it. But obviously when lockdown is over and we're back to our normal routine, the pounds will come off really quickly again and the bloat won't be there. I mean, I probably should have done this on a different day when I'm not bloated and I'm like a little bit more kind of comfortable, but <laughs> this is when I'm deciding to do it because I'm in the mood. So I'm gonna show you what everything looks like in its current state. So this is kind of what it looks like on an everyday basis if it's not tidy and there's literally stuff everywhere. So this is gonna take me a while. It's gonna take me a long old while, but it needs doing. Right, let's go through. So this is my little clothes situation on here. That's got very messy. There's a lot on there. It's kind of just been thrown back on where I get things off to wear them. We've also got loads of bags and stuff down here that shouldn't be down here. There's a bag up here that shouldn't be there. There's shoes on here that don't fit or I just don't wear. We've got a pile of clothes down there that need to get put away. Then we have these cupboards, which are, I mean, that just says enough really, doesn't it? I don't need to say anymore. You can just look at this and you know exactly why. Ugh, right, that's basically the worst one. That's gonna take the longest to tackle, if I'm honest. And then we have this one, which is the one where the majority of my clothes live. And this is again, still a bit of a mess. This little unit thing is actually going. So what I've got is I bought two more of them and they are slightly more sturdy because as you can see, like this is just, they're not very good for like carrying heavy clothes. Like even that shelf with a few pairs of trousers on is bowing. So I'm get, I've ordered two so that I can kind of split things a bit more evenly and then there's not as much crammed on because I think that short situation must be quite heavy. It's a lot of denim. But anyway, so this needs sorting. There's a lot of dresses and play suits and stuff in here that I've never worn or I haven't worn in years because they don't fit. And even though I love certain things, like this dress I absolutely love, this is from Next, but this I put on at the beginning of the year and it barely did up. So I'm thinking that might need to go, but that needs sorting out. Then we also need to sort over here. I have a drawer, which is t-shirt and like random stuff. There's a bra in here that probably shouldn't be in here. There's a sweatshirt there that's stuck. There's a pair of sweatpants there that are stuck. It's just, it's meant to be really organized. Like there is a line of t-shirts and stuff, but it needs a good going through and like, a good sort out. I feel like when I see people do these videos, they're really like organized and they really know what they're doing and they've got their stuff together. Me, no, I do not have that. I have not got my life together. I have not got my stuff together. Everything is all over the show, but we're gonna make it work, guys. We're gonna make it work and we're gonna do it. It's gonna be great. <laughs> I'm trying to convince myself and it's not working, but okay. Let's go, right. I've got a charity shop bag happening. I've got a bin bag happening for random cardboard and stuff I find everywhere. And we're gonna start with the drawer. Okay, step one, I'm literally just gonna pull everything out and we're gonna see what's here. And then we can like refold, some of it probably needs washing. Let's just get all of it out at once. I think that's probably the best way. That's a bit better, isn't it? 
funny thing is some of this has never been worn and some of it's been worn maybe like a handful of times so that's going to be a starting point in itself but I'm also going through because a lot of it needs washing like this has got makeup around the collar there's another t-shirt I actually just spotted as well that also had makeup around the collar the whole shebang I'm going to go through first and just put in the things that I know I wear a lot so like this bodysuit I wear quite a lot and I really like it it's just like a like a, it's like a rusty coloured bodysuit from H&M that's actually meant to be in my gym wardrobe I forgot I had this I try and keep this drawer like fairly organised so I have like camis in a pile I have bodysuits in a pile and then I have it all kind of like that but then technically this is like a cami bodysuit so where does that go? it's really hard to see everything and I think the Marie Kondo method is fab unless it's like a silky bodysuit or something and then you literally can't Marie Kondo it because it just doesn't <laughs> doesn't work I have a crop top. That needs trying on because I don't even know if that fits. This has got a stain down the front of it, but it's a really good basic. But I basically, <laughs> I don't know if you can even see, I spilt highlight down the front. So there's like a line of highlight that's just never come out no matter how many times it's been bleached or washed. So I think that might end up just going in the bin, to be honest. This I love so much, but it doesn't fit me and I'm really sad about it. I got it a couple of years ago from And Other Stories and I've worn it maybe twice, but it just doesn't fit. And it's so sad because it's so pretty. 34, I think that's an eight, but it's just really hard to get over my hips and it's so, so pretty. So I think that might be sold. I've also got this Zimmerman top, which I got right at the end of last summer and it's so cute, but I've only worn it for a shoot and then I haven't been able to wear it since because it's just not been summery enough. And I've kept hold of it because I really love it. But I think if I don't get wear out of it this year, I'm gonna sell it because it is really pretty and it's literally only been worn for a shoot. So it could go to a good home. How am I gonna put these back in so they actually like? I feel like that needs to be hung. I'm gonna hang that. See, this is where it gets hard because there's so many different types of top. And how do I know all these different types of top? How do I know where to put them? I've also got things like this, which are from New Year and I'm probably never gonna wear, so I feel like they could definitely go to a new home. It was gonna be kept for festival season, which is why it's still in the drawer, but we don't have festival season. And I'm probably gonna want something else by the time we get to a new festival, so. wear this all the time it's like my go-to in winter with some jeans if I've got an event or something and I just want something easy to wear this is a really old top from mango and I just haven't worn it in years so I'm gonna give it a try on and see if it's any good but chances are I'll probably get rid of it there's so much in here that I literally just haven't got out in so long but it's stuff that I actually like and it's just been hidden and I've not seen it and that's why it's not been worn oh my god how is that still in my cupboard with that much makeup on it You've also got loads of makeup on. What is it with me putting Rolex back in my cupboard that just have loads of makeup on? Okay, this is like a prime example of something I love. So this is a ribbed long sleeve top that I've had for a while and it needs a bit of TLC because one of the sleeves, can you see that? The sleeve is like ripped. So I need to actually fix that. And that's gonna be something I do when I give my wardrobe a little like maintenance session because what I'm ideally hoping to do is like clean it out and sort it out now. And then everything that's left, I can go through and like give it a bit of maintenance and give it a bit of love and like make it all nice again god i never realized i had so many tops i just don't know how to put this drawer back together like this is such a hard drawer to know what to do with so at the moment this is all my like camis and like lace detailed tops then i've got body suits here but i know there's a lot that are in the wash so that will kind of fill that space this is crop tops but that one's quite hard to keep folded so that might end up being hung and then this is my long sleeve tops here so I need to kind of work out, I still need to go through the t-shirts, but I need to work out what's happening with this little pile. And then we have a Depop donate pile here. That's the stuff I need to try on. And then that's the wash pile, which is all white and covered in makeup, but it needs to get going, like sorted. So for example, like this is covered in makeup, needs to go in the wash. There's probably quite a few others like that, to be honest. Yeah, look, why have I got all of these in the drawer? Why are they not in the wash? Like, no wonder they're still sat in the drawer not being worn when they're all covered in bloody makeup. Let's keep going, shall we? This top is so cute it's a fairly recent one from zara and i wore it once and i wore it with a sweatshirt over the top and literally look at the color of it it's so covered in fluff and i really need to get a deep wobbler out and do it but i just haven't bought myself to do it every time i go to put it on i'm like oh, just wash it and it'll come off and it hasn't and i need to just give it a really good go over with a lint roller because it's absolutely covered so funny though i feel like this happens to everyone with black t-shirts but it's just absolutely smothered <laughs> 
So this is also a new in from Boohoo, but I'm just laughing because look at the placement of Corella Deville. I don't know if you can really see because I've got it propped up on some stuff, but like it's completely not central. It's like off to one side. <laughs> This really doesn't look organized, but I promise it is. So basically, this is now bodysuits, camis, dark t-shirts, light t-shirts. I only have one pink, the rest are like white. And then we've got long sleeves, and then this is a pile of like camis and crops. And that's all that's gonna live in this drawer for now. And then this I need to find a home for. So this is like the excessive loungewear I own. It just needs homes. So that's gonna stay there, and I'm gonna keep chucking loungewear onto it so that I can get all my loungewear together and then I can work out what I need to get rid of and what I need to keep versus like what fits and stuff. And then wash pile needs to go in the wash pot in a minute. I'm gonna basically put my wash pot in this corner and just keep chucking stuff in. Depop slash get rid of, try on bra. Lovely, that can go in the wash I'm assuming. I'm thinking let's start with the one that's full of, do I start with the one that's full of clothes or the one that's full of crap? What seems like the more logical, better option here? I'm gonna start with the one that's full of crap because I feel like that's gonna be the easier one to sort, maybe. God, what have I got myself into? I'm going into the unknown quite literally because I do not know what is in this cupboard. It could be absolutely anything and <sighs> wish me luck. I'm gonna put a vlog on and I'm gonna time lapse you and then if anything funny happens, we can catch up. <laughs> Prime example, this has still got tags on because I bought it for a trip I never got to go on and it's a swimsuit, so <laughs> why is it in here? For some reason, this sounds so weird and it's not from the hangers because that's what a lot of people said on Instagram when I showed it, but a couple of my tops have just got this really weird like discoloration and I don't know what it is, but I'm gonna try and see, like, I don't know what it is. It never actually used to be through either. This is like a new addition. I don't really know what's going on, but I'm really annoyed because my mum got me this for my birthday last year and it's like a really nice linen blazer, but I think it just needs to sit in a bath and like hopefully it will get better. I don't really know what it is. Like it's partly on the collar. It's there, it's here. It just doesn't make sense. Like I thought maybe it was fake tan or something, but it's not, but it's on two different jackets. So I'm gonna basically chuck them in a bath with some vanish and I'm just gonna try and like do all of that in a minute. Like, well, not in a minute. I'll probably do it tomorrow or something. This I need to try on. So this I've had in my wardrobe for quite a while and I'm gonna put it in the try on pile because I haven't worn it in a while. It's a size six. It's probably gonna be a bit small on my shoulders now. So we're gonna give it a go. If it doesn't fit, I'm gonna get rid of it. As much as I like it, I can't keep things that don't fit. These are going in storage. So I'm gonna chuck these in a different corner because they're gonna be what goes into a vacuum bag and gets stored for winter because obviously I can't wear these now. They're way too thick until it gets to like autumn time. My cash pot. <laughs> There's so much in here, I actually need to clear this out. The steamer. So you know when you're clearing out cupboards and you find random things that you forgot you had? I think I mentioned this a couple of weeks ago, but Laura bought me a random load of craft stuff for Christmas as like a jokey thing, because we like doing random things like this together. So I actually might see if there's some kind of video me and Sam can do with this of like, see what the weirdest thing we can create is or something. <laughs> I've got a whole thing of a camera I don't even own anymore. This is gonna be a bundle of laughs. So this is my swimsuits. I don't know if some of this is gonna fit. Like that looks very small. I don't know if this is gonna fit me anymore. This is super old, but I really like it. Oh my God, my trusty black swimsuit. Looks a bit worse for wear now, but it fits. Let's try on these two swimsuits because I'm very intrigued as to whether they fit or not. I'm also gonna try on this one because as much as I love it, if it doesn't fit, it's not staying. This is the H&M um, Love Stories one. And I just think it makes me look really wide. Like I don't think it's flattering for my shape at all. Like this is almost too low cut. It needs to almost be like a high leg or something. I just don't like how it looks on. And I think seeing it on now has made me realize like, I don't feel confident in it. If I don't feel confident in it, why am I keeping it? Also, like, look at this bloat. Oh, yeah. 
So this is another H&M one actually, and I got this last year, and again, I just feel like it's really unflattering. I just don't think this is that flattering. I actually wore this one in Disney, and I remember not really liking it, so I'm gonna get rid of it. I mean, to be honest, I don't like my body at the moment anyway. I feel like my middle is just really like bloated and stuff, but I just don't like it. It also feels a bit tight here, and I think, no. First of all, I'm gonna say I absolutely love this print, and I think it's really nice, but the boob bit, is too small, this is digging in, and also I don't know if you can see, but it's literally like squashing my boobs in. It just doesn't fit, as much as I like it, it just doesn't fit, so. Buy my Topshop swimsuit that I absolutely love and have never worn. So this is the one that I bought for a trip and had never tried on. And I'm not gonna lie, I'm not liking how much it like cuts into my bum cheeks and like here, because I think that's just really unflattering in a swimsuit. So chances are I'd probably never wear it. I actually don't think it cost much money. No, it was six quid from Primark. Another item with tags on, going bye bye. Also, I tried it on with my knickers on, don't fit. They're just like tucked up. I normally love Revolve, don't get me wrong, but this doesn't fit. Look how low this comes, but also the back is so big, it just doesn't fit fit at all so again goodbye i'm actually thinking as well i might move the swimwear box into like a, some other solution because that seems like a waste of a giant tub just to have that in the bottom i might as well just put it in one of these and keep it in a suitcase because chances are i'm not going to need swimwear in england and if i do i can just keep like one swimsuit downstairs or something or my suitcases are stacked up there so I can get them out very easily. This is my hats and scarves box that I'm not touching because I've just gone through that. I was gifted these by GHD a while ago. So there's a pair of straighteners and a hairdryer. And I keep meaning to get them out and use them, but I keep forgetting. So I'm actually going to keep them out because I want to start using these instead of what I've already got. just found all my adapters and stuff so they're gonna go inside a suitcase because that's probably where they should be to be honest so I've got this really cute steamboat luggage um, not sorry steamboat sorry steam line and this is a gorgeous brand with like really really gorgeous luxe luggage and I got this gifted to me when I went on my first Pandora trip to Thailand I'll leave a link to that down below because it was a really fun trip but I've never really known what to put in it so it's always been full of like random stuff but I thought instead of keeping it full of random things I'm going to put all my like hair scarves and hair ties and hair bands and stuff because it's quite deep so it means that they'll all fit but also I think that's quite a good use of space and then what I can do is keep this maybe on the shelves over there or something and then it's still out on display because it is a really cute piece of luggage but I feel bad if it's just abandoned to the back of the cupboard you know state of my room look at all of this oh my god there's just stuff everywhere so i've sorted the back of the cupboard and what i've done is my suitcases are now all here so that's my big and little mickey one my big and little orange one the mini ted baker one and then the big ted baker one's just here and then at the back we've got the christmas box there with the festival like wellies and stuff in as well this is all my scarves and hats and that kind of thing and then we've got my balenciaga and gucci boxes there i think it's time to try and put some clothing back in here. Half of the wardrobe is gonna be the two hangy things. So I do need to find a solution for this suitcase, which at the moment I don't know what I'm gonna do with it, but it needs to go somewhere. And I'm thinking I might get rid of the orange cases because I don't really use them as much. Like if I want a medium case, I use my Mickey. If I want a big case, I use that one. So I don't need the orange ones. And I think I might just get rid of them and donate them to someone else because someone else might be able to love them a little bit better than I do. So the very last trip I went on before lockdown was actually with these when we went to Qatar. Also, I've just realized my stickers have Adams all over them from Elle, so hers must have Shepherd all over hers. <laughs> I feel like that makes a lot more logical sense to only have a big, medium, and two small suitcases because the small suitcases I use a lot when I'm shooting around London, but I don't need more than that. Like realistically, that's all I need. And obviously I'm not getting rid of my Mickey ones anytime soon because they are my pride and joy. I need to start putting stuff back in, like I said. So I'm thinking that can all go in here. Denim jackets and stuff are actually gonna go downstairs because I'm gonna basically do a switcheroo of my coats in the downstairs cupboard. So this is gonna be the kind of thing that goes up here only. I'm gonna quickly just give that a little zhuzh and get it done and sort this cupboard out as much as I can and obviously leave the space there for when the hangy things turn up. Also guys, I think one thing I might do is take all my blazers off the wooden hangers because if the marks that are happening on the white clothes are from wooden hangers, which I'm being dead serious, I don't think they are because some of them it's only on the outside and then it seems to get progressively worse. So what we think might be happening, because Sam just had a little look, is that something is leaking from up above. So when it rains, there's something that's like leaking onto the clothes or something and obviously the dark ones aren't showing it, whereas the light ones are. Gonna give them a wash, hopefully it comes out, but to prevent the further situation, I'm just gonna put them all on the felt hangers.
this is basically what I have. So I've got my linen, my normal blacks, I've got a grey, I've got a hound suit, I've got a navy check, I've got a sage, a nude and a like more creamy nude. But I've put them all onto the other hangers and then I've actually took the shorts off so that I can put them with my other shorts because I think if they're with my other shorts, I'll wear them more. I'm gonna quickly go ahead and just try and make this look a bit tidier because if it's a bit tidier, I can get on with the other cupboard a bit easier. Whereas right now, I don't think I'm gonna be able to. <laughs> Can we appreciate the size of this donate pile already? This is the pile of stuff that is being donated or sold. It is humongous. Look at how big this is. I don't think you can actually understand. There's Sam's jeans, we'll ignore those, but that's quite a growing collection of stuff that's going. These have become the new bobby pins. Literally, I find these little bands absolutely everywhere because they're the only hair bands I use and they are literally all over my house. Even though I have a little place that I put them in the drawer, they end up absolutely everywhere and it's so annoying. Are we ready to tackle the worst cupboard? Because this is definitely it. I've decided that what I'm gonna do with this one is literally just chuck the clothes in a big pile on the floor and then I'm gonna work out like each item. So Sam did it the other day and it worked really well for him. He basically like put everything along the cupboards and worked out what worked and what didn't. This shoe box is genuinely one of the banes of my life. It's so full and I don't even wear half of these. Half of them have stayed in this box for like a good eight months. So I think it might be time to like sit and work out what I'm actually gonna keep. So first and foremost, these need to go downstairs because I have an older version of these that desperately need to go in the bin because these are a newer version that I've just never got around to wearing and I need to just get rid of the old ones. These were bought for Disney, but obviously we aren't there. So I haven't worn those yet. These I've had for so long. I've had these like two years. And this winter, I literally didn't pick them out and wear them once. So I think that says enough. I'm just gonna give them a bit of a clean and sell them because they are really nice shoes. I just, I literally don't wear them anymore. But I'm like, if I get rid of them, will I want to wear them again? Thing is, they look really cute with like little dresses and stuff. Like they do look really sweet, but maybe I'll keep them to one side to try on as well. And I'll try them on with a few outfits. And if I don't like them, then they're going. These are bought for an event and I wore them. I, I didn't even wear them to the event. They've never been worn. They're gonna go. Oh my god, I've had these years. They're literally like lace up little flat sandals. I love them for like holidays and stuff. My solo pair of heels, it's the only pair of heels I own. Oh my god, I've had these for like maybe a year or two and they're so comfortable. So these are just rope sandals from And Other Stories and on holiday they're so nice and they go with everything. And then I've also got like these ones as well which I wear a lot on holiday. Again, super old. And these, I've had these for, I wanna say maybe like three or four years now. They've literally been out of stock since the minute they went on sale and I always, always, always get asked about where they're from but they've literally been out of stock for so long but they're really cute. They're really, really old next and again, always out of stock whenever I try and link them. There's nothing similar ever online but they're one of my most warm pairs of shoes and I enjoy them a lot. I've had them for so long I just can't bear to part with them. God, that cleared out quite a lot. I seem to have nothing left. I've got like my, my knee-high boots and stuff, which obviously I'm not wearing at the moment. And I've got my trainers, but that's literally all that's staying in here. Cleared that out quite well. I found my Disney Parks box. So this is basically the box that has like all of my stuff that I wear to the parks or like would wear to the parks. It's got like a small percentage of my ears and by small, I mean one pair. The others are all in a different box. I need to get them out. But basically the idea of this box is it's all the stuff that I only wear when I'm at Disney. So like my Disney Parks bag. Then I've got my little passport holder that was gifted to me by the parks team. So that's gonna be what I use for my passport when we go. I've got like my Hogwarts jacket, like that kind of thing in here. This is also my granddad's jumper, which is in the box because it's a memory and my granddad died a few years ago, bless him. So I keep that in there because I don't want to wear it, but I want to keep it safe. And this is like the best place to keep it. That's just basically what that box is. It's just my Disney stuff. So I'm going to pop this back in the cupboard as it is. And then this box is basically all of the stuff that I sorted out in my last video when I did my huge swap over for wardrobe from like winter to summer. So this is all of my winter jumpers and stuff and my sparkly dress that I wore. It's like an occasion dress. I'm not gonna wear it very often, maybe once every couple of years. So this is gonna eventually be vacuum packed and then it's gonna go in the back of here in a vacuum packed bag along with my coats and stuff. But for now, I'm gonna keep it in this tub because obviously I don't have the vacuum bag yet to do that. 
I need to attempt to get this off. Um, I think I might have to take all the trousers and stuff out first and then get it out. It's gonna collapse, isn't it? I'm gonna show you how big these cupboards actually are. So let me put you up here. Can you see the whole thing? Yes. Right, ready for this? I could basically lie in here, although I wouldn't because it's very dusty, but they're absolutely humongous. We used to joke and say like the end one that's a double cupboard, which is like the one next to this, it's so big that we could literally put a double mattress in there and then we could just rent it out as a room because that's what people do in London, but obviously we wouldn't do that. It's just an idea, but I need to work out some kind of solution. I've been sat on my phone drinking coffee for like an hour now and I need to start getting everything back in and like sorted. It's time to do what Sam did and hang everything up in stages. So I'm gonna start with dresses because the pile down here is in like stages of like dresses, tops, etc. Like it's in the section of what it is. So I'm gonna start with dresses, hang everything on here and we're gonna see what I've got. And then I need to also go through that pile because that pile is a bit of a mess as well. And basically when I've done that, it means I can kind of go through and see what's there and see what I can keep, etc. So I'm gonna hang all the dresses up and I'll catch up with you in a sec. So this is all my dresses hung up here. Ignore the fan, it's on because it's really hot up here and the window's rattling too much, but that is a lot of dresses. I didn't realize I own that many. I'm gonna go through first and foremost and pick out the ones that I know don't fit. And then I'm gonna go through, pick out the ones I really like and the ones that I want to try on again. So this should narrow down pretty quickly. So this is my try on again pile because some of these I love and I've really loved over the years but I don't know how they fit now and I don't know why I've kept them in the cupboard for so long. So like the yellow printed one I haven't worn since last summer. The blue one again haven't worn since last summer. This one I don't know if it's still going to fit because it's like a tight fitting one. And then I'm basically just going to give them a try on and see what I think. And if I like the way they look on me then I'll keep them. If not then they're going to be donated. I've got a pile down here of stuff I'm getting rid of. And then these are all the ones that I want to keep that I've recently put on or I know fit really well. So like for example this maxi dress I know fits really nicely. This I put on the other day and again same with the other stuff. This one's actually one that I've had for a really long time and I haven't really worn much of. I think I wore it maybe twice. Basically I was looking for like the perfect underlayer and I finally have found and bought a little slip dress that can go underneath so I can finally wear this again because it's beautiful. Sam actually got it for me as a present because he knew how much I wanted it. It was basically £20 last year and it sold out so 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 quickly. It looks a bit naff on the hanger I'm not gonna lie. I haven't hung it very well but it's beautiful. It sold out really quickly. He managed to get it on eBay and I'm really glad he did because it's so so nice and Unfortunately, it is completely sold out, so you can't buy it. Yeah, this is the ones I'm keeping. So I'm going to put these to one side and basically tackle trying on those ones. And then we're going to tackle the next section of the wardrobe, which is going to be the play suits and the jumpsuits. This midi dress, I actually think I might have shrunk in the wash because it used to be like slightly longer and slightly wider and the length was a bit better. So I think I might get rid of this purely on the fact that I've shrunk it. I've actually only worn this once and I don't know why because it's so cute. It's like a really nice kind of slightly metallic little dress with the tie waist and it's so 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 cute this is perfect for summer and something i'd literally wear all the time so i don't know why i've never got it out before and this is actually a revolve one which i've got a few bits from revolve but it's really cute and i really like it this one is not too small for me like it's fallen down my back at the moment it fits but it's stuck on the like point where the seam goes across and it's really annoying me because i can't do it up but i know it fits it just won't go past that bit of the zip it is a really cute little dress and if i had another pair of hands i could obviously like hold the fabric while i pulled oh, it's just annoying me oh, this dress is so cute but there's something about it i don't like and i think it's that this bit is so tight on me the little frill bit's really cute the top bit's really cute but this bit just looks too tight Dresses like this are great until you realise you literally can't do them up by yourself because I can't physically reach to do that bit. But this one's so cute. This is another Revolve number and I actually wore this when we went on our Warner Brothers studio tour last year and absolutely loved it. I love like the big floaty sleeves and stuff. So I think this one's going to stay. I also think 
like it's quite flattering how it kind of skims and it is very short I will say that I wear this with cycle shorts underneath and it's fine I am ever so slightly dreading trying on these two cami dresses because they're tight fitting but let's see what they look like this one is fine but it's almost like too big around here like it needs to be taken in by like quite a bit I think and then it will look really nice because then it's just a really nice velvet dress for the fact that this was like a £10 dress from Topshop do I really need to keep it also I've realized over time that square necks just don't fit me because I'm quite broad shouldered <laughs> so that's also another thing I don't like this is going in the sale pile but we are doing well so far because I've kept two and I've got rid of two this is the third I've got rid of so if this one fits we're on a half and half ratio yeah this one's way more flattering and it's also a bit more like figure hugging because it's like a slightly thicker fabric so this is a river island one and it's actually quite an oldie it's from last summer it's got this zebra print kind of vibe i like this one i think this is the one i'm going to keep this is another one that i think can stay so this is more of like a wintry maxi but it's actually meant to be a midi dress i'm just really short so it kind of comes quite long and it looks really nice to trainers or with like little heels or something so i think i'm going to keep this one it's a little zara classic and i forgot how much i love it and how like floaty and nice it is so this is gonna stay. This one's actually a recent one from H&M and I have a very similar one from Misguided which is slightly shorter that I love but I actually think this one's really really cute and I think if I took it up ever so slightly I'd really like it. I think it's just a tiny tiny bit too long but how cute is this for summer? Okay final dress is this one from And Other Stories which I love. I think it's so nice and I'm actually surprised it fit. I really did not think this would fit. I was on FaceTime to Sarah and said this is the one that I love but I don't think it will go over me and it does it's fine so it's just a really cute and other stories number and it's got the really nice like fitted body with the kind of flowy maxi bit and I love this I wore it a few times last summer and I kind of wanted to wear it again this summer so I'm really glad that it fit for one and that it looks okay for two the only thing that annoys me slightly is I don't know if you guys can see where the zip is it's got this like bump because that's like the bottom half of the zip, the zip goes all the way up to here. So I kind of wish that wasn't a thing, but I don't know how to like stop that happening. It's like right in my hip dip as well, which is really annoying. But um, other than that, I really like it and I think it's gonna stay. It doesn't look like I've narrowed it down much, but I actually have. I've got rid of quite a few, so I don't know why there's still so many hung here, but I'm gonna pop these ones back in the wardrobe and then we're gonna tackle play suits and then we're gonna kind of keep going until we get to the end of this little pile down here. Right, I've separated play suits. So this is the ones I'm definitely keeping. It's four there. Is there four there? Yeah, and then this is the ones I'm gonna try on. So this is all the play suits and jumpsuits that I'm not sure how they fit or I haven't tried them on in ages. This is cute, but I'm not sure how I feel about it on. Let me know what you think in the comments of this one because I think if you guys like it on and you think it looks good, then I might keep hold of it. But I just don't know. I feel like it just looks a bit meh. This I absolutely love on, I forgot how much I liked it. This one's a weird one because I absolutely love it and I'm so obsessed with it. It's got a special place and it is really cute so maybe I'll keep hold of it and I'll see how I feel when it comes to like putting it on in the summer and stuff and obviously when I'm not bloated pre-period and also a bit of weight gain from lockdown because let's be honest, I've picked the worst day to try things on. <laughs> This is another one that I'm absolutely obsessed with. It's basically a little, I mean, I haven't actually done it up properly, so it's not like, there's a button in here that's supposed to be done up, but it's not, <laughs> hang on. <laughs> okay, it's done up now. But this is actually a size six and it's really tight now around my middle and it used to hang like really nicely. So <sighs> I haven't worn it in about two years. So I got it two years ago. I didn't wear it last year and I think it might be time to give it to a new home. This is bringing back all the memories because the only time I've worn this play suit was when Sam and I went to Pompeii last year and it was blistering hot and I was absolutely melting. But as much as I like it and as much as I think it's really cute, it's now a bit tight around my hips and my bum. And I think where it is that little bit tight around here, it just doesn't look as nice as it once did. I just don't like how it fits on me. And that is exactly why I did this video because things like this, I keep hold of because I really love them. But if I'm not gonna wear them because I don't like how they fit me, then what's the point of keeping them? I might as well just give them to someone else who will wear it. But obviously I just personally don't like it on me and it is a beautiful play suit. So one of you guys might be able to love it instead. <laughs> Oh my god, how cute is this? This is a Free People one that I got gifted, I think just after Christmas, and it's so blooming cute. It's like a bat wing sleeve with these little embellishments and stuff on it, but this is so nice for like summer or winter, because if I was in winter and I was going to like a little party or something, I could wear this with some heels or boots, and then in summer I could obviously wear it with like little sandals. <laughs> I'm not even gonna bother doing this up because you can see it does not fit me. So this is actually one that's literally only just this minute come in from a brand, but I thought I'd try it on in this video and just see if it fit but it literally will not do up over my belly so I'm gonna have to ask for a size up. 
I can't even count how many times I've now got changed and unchanged. Like, I've put this outfit on and took it off so many times now, and also like just between trying on loads of different clothes. Let's put away the play suits and then we'll tackle the rest of this pile. I'm just gonna do it all in one go because it's basically all just tops and jumpers. This is a jumper I picked up at Bista and I actually got this in the kids section and it was I believe like £40, it has still got the tag in and I've just not worn it because I think it just looks a bit like, I wanted it to be oversized and I think it just looks a bit frumpy on me and it looks a bit like meh. Questioning why this one ended up in the pile that it did but I really like it on so this is going to stay. This one is a bit of a tricky one because I really like the colour of it and I think I would wear it a lot had we have had a proper spring. But I might keep hold of it and see if I wear it into like autumn winter this year and then if I don't I'll get rid of it. Yep. Yep. Nope. Um, obviously with a bra but I'm not sure how I feel about this one now. I've had it a while and I don't know if I like it anymore. So I got this in the couples when we went to Bista Village about eight months ago. And look how long the arms are. <laughs> I love it, but I'm like, am I ever gonna wear it? I've had it for so long and the only time I wore it was the day that I got it because I needed something warm to wear. But I just don't know if I'm ever gonna wear it again. Like, it is cute, but I just don't know. <laughs> I mean. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Whew. I mean. If that isn't cramming myself in, I don't know what is. I'm gonna show you how tight this is now. It's not even on straight. This is, I'm embarrassed for myself. Genuinely embarrassed for myself that I'm gonna show you this on the internet, but this skirt isn't even on straight. Like you can see the seam is down here, but look at this, look how tight it is. And like, I'm not exaggerating guys. Like I am literally spilling over the top. This is cutting off circulation. I think if I tried to sit down, like, oh my good God, look, I can't even like, oh wow, this is going. I'm sorry, I've kept hold of this as like my, this is one of my like motivation to lose weight skirts and no. This dress is from New Look and I actually really like it. It does still have tags in, but it's something that I got and thought, well, I was gifted it and basically was like, I love it, I really wanna try it, I'm gonna see if I can make it work and I've just never been able to make it work. Like I've never been able to style it. I forgot I had this and I love it. This is a kind of sweatshirt. It's, it is a sweatshirt, but it's really, really thin and it's from And Other Stories. It's got this like slight puff sleeve detailing and it's just got Hollywood um, sign on the front. And I love it, but I completely forgot I had it to the point where like, it's literally got a tag in because it's been hung in the wrong part of my wardrobe. Right, I've got a handful more items on the floor here that I'm gonna try on. So I think there's like four blazers. So I'm gonna do it as a quick fire. I'm just gonna say yes or no and we'll see whether any of these are good and staying or whether they're being donated to a new home. The new home pile, <laughs> the new home pile is considerably bigger already than any other pile in this room, but do you know what? If I'm not gonna wear it, I'd rather it went to someone who will. Mm, no, don't like the sleeves as much. Way too tight on my shoulders. Actually, changed my mind. I'm gonna put this one back in the cupboard and if I don't wear it in six months, it's gone. I think I'll keep this one too. No, this is going. I don't like the color on me, this is going too. So the vacuum pack bags just turned up, which I wasn't expecting because I used a link that my friend Luke ordered from and he said his took a month. So I don't know if that's because he ordered close to the beginning of lockdown or what, but it's just turned up and basically it's a pack of six. So you've got three different sizes and then it comes with a pump as well. So you can just like pump the bag down or I think you can use a vacuum, but I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna use the pump. If it takes too long, I'll use a vacuum, but I'm gonna quickly, before I put all the tops away, just grab out the box of knitwear and then I can put that on the vacuum bag now and it's just done. And then obviously the coats and stuff I can do in a little bit when I manage to get downstairs and sort those out. So this is the three sizes. So this one's actually not that small. That's kind of like, I'd say an A1 piece of paper, but it goes all the way up to this one, which is huge. So I'm gonna see if I can fit all my knitwear into that. And if not, then I might have to do like one and one or something, but I think all my knitwear should fit in one of those. Or do I keep that for my coats and do two of those for coats and then two of these for knitwear? That seems like a better option, doesn't it? Because coats are gonna be bigger. Hmm. Yeah, let's do that. Let's keep these for coats because I think I'm probably gonna need two because coats are so bulky, especially when I've got like fur ones and stuff. Judging from how easily that blue thing just fell off, I don't think these are gonna be the best quality ever, but they were 20 quid, so can't complain there. Okay, for my knitwear, because surely that's not normal. 
Am I ruining all my knitwear by doing this? Is a very good question. Literally a slab of clothes now. Um, but at least it all fit into one. So that's good. I'm now knackered because that took it out of me. So I've now got one bag and one bag. They're actually really heavy, I'm not gonna lie. Um, I am losing nails by the minute though. I've got like so many chipped ones and stuff, so I'm gonna have to repaint them in a minute because half of them are ruined because of obviously doing all this stuff. I'm honestly being ruthless. This is really, I'm proud of myself. I'm not gonna lie. I feel really anxious and I'm really struggling to do this at the same time as like feeling good about it because I struggle to part with things and I struggle to accept that things don't fit. Like I've never in my life had to get rid of clothes because they're too small until now. So I'm finding it quite a challenge, but a welcome challenge because I need to do this. And I think by getting rid of all this stuff, I'll look in my wardrobe and I'll be like, do you know what? Everything in here fits me and I can wear it. Like I'll open my wardrobe and be like, this is a great range of clothes that I can pick from. Whereas before, I'd be like, well, that doesn't fit me. And like, just seeing those items, even if I wasn't thinking about putting them on, it's quite hard, I think, sometimes. But anyway, this is not a video to be a sob story. This is a video to be productive and to hopefully inspire you guys to clear out your wardrobe and do what you have put off for ages. Like, from friends I've spoken to, we all put off getting rid of the clothes that we like but don't wear because we don't like how they look on. So this is me telling you to do it, to get rid of it and not look back. Replace it with stuff that fits and stuff that you like. Let's put all of this away. <laughs> this looks so much better now. It's only the things that I'm keeping. Like that is spread out and I can still move things and fit things in, which has never happened before. I like that I can see everything now and I've done it basically. So it's like dresses and play suits to there. And then it's like, so like there-ish. So that's all like mixed together in color order and whatever. And then that is tops fading into jumpers. So I've got literally that is tops, that tiny little section there. And then that is the jumpers that I've kept out. So like my lightweight ones like this, which aren't too heavy and my sweatshirts and then a couple of cardigans. So I've kept out like the minimal amount, but everything in here I will wear over the next couple of months. And if I don't, then it's going too, because I want to be vigilant with my wardrobe and only keep what I like. Game changing. Look how much less space that takes up. So that is a whole box and a, well, actually more than a whole box worth because I chucked in an extra few jumpers, but that box used to take up that whole space and not even all of what is in there would fit. So I'm very impressed because I could definitely fit my coats one in there. So now I've got the issue of all of this is stuff that I'm now selling and I don't know where to put this because that's a lot of stuff. Like both those suitcases, sorry. <laughs> so both those suitcases are full and that box and the stuff on top, like where am I meant to put that? I might try and see if there's a hole in there because this is like our loft, bit of a mess. Um, but I might see if I can get any space in there at all and then I can put that into this cupboard until it sells, which hopefully should be soon because I'm gonna put everything on like seven day auctions. What I'm gonna do is the day that this video goes live, I'm gonna make sure that I put all of this stuff up the night before so that it's already there. So when you guys wanna see it, you can see everything that I'm selling when you watch this video because I think that's the best way to do it. Otherwise, I've done it before where all of the stuff's already sold by the time the video goes up. It's not really fair. But I'm starving. It's 3.45 and I haven't eaten since 9 a.m. because I've literally been doing this since, when did I get off my phone? To, right, when did I start? So it's 3.45 now and at 11, I messaged Sarah saying I was regretting starting this. So I've been doing this for like five hours. I've changed my hair so I look slightly more presentable, but honestly, I am glad that was over and I'm glad that I have like a little bit of a rest before I do the other bits because I am absolutely pooped. It is 20, well, it's 12 minutes past five. I thought it was 21 minutes, 12. Um, I've officially been doing this for six hours and I'm very glad it's done to the point that it is. So I've got a pile of eBay stuff over in that corner and the jackets that I need to sort for downstairs, but I'm basically gonna wait and do the jackets and like, all the downstairs bits until the other bits come for the cupboard, so the hanging storage. I'm very glad with the progress I made. Uh, there's a lot of bits still to sort, but they can wait for another day because it's been a long one today and I just wanna sit down and chill for a bit and make some dinner because I'm very, very hungry. Hello from the future. So I obviously was doing that for like six hours in total and I was so tired by the time that I finished that I completely forgot to end the video. Um, I actually ended up with over three hours footage and narrowed it down to 45 minutes, which I think is pretty good going. So I really hope you enjoyed this part one. Part two is gonna be coming soon. So I've sorted out now the other part of my wardrobe. So the trousers, the coats, the workout clothes, all of that kind of thing. And that's gonna be in a separate video coming soon. But I hope you enjoyed this video guys don't forget to give it a thumbs up and a comment and all that jazz and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.